Moving really stinks. I miss my friends and family, but my dad made us move because he got a new job. I really hate him for doing this. It just, it really feels unfair. But mom says that I'll make new friends. But the thing is, I don't want new friends. I want my old friends and I want my old life back. Rise and shine, kiddo. It's a new day in your new life. I know you're sad about us moving, but you just got to try to make the best of things. Dad, look, I'm just, I'm sad, okay? And I just want things to go back to the way they were. I want my life to be normal again. Why did we have to move across the country because you had to get a job? I just miss the way things were. I miss the way things were too. But this job I got offered has a great opportunity for all of us. Sure, you don't see it right now, but eventually you will, I promise. Well, okay, fine, but until then, I'm going to lay here in my room and just kind of mind my own business and roll myself up into a giant depression cocoon until school starts, okay? So if you could just leave me alone, I would really appreciate that. Well, your new school is on spring break, so you've got a while. My advice would be not to waste your time here in your bedroom. Okay, first of all, Dad, I'm not wasting my time in my bedroom because my bedroom is the only place that I can Skype and Discord and phone call my friends. You remember my friends, the people you took me away from? I'm sorry you had to leave all your friends behind, but you can't make any new friends if you don't go out and explore, buddy. Look, Dad, I don't want people telling me what to do anymore. I'm sick and tired of you and Mom telling me to make new friends because I don't want new friends. I had friends, and you took me away from them. I'll leave you alone until you calm down for a bit. And aren't being so rude. No matter how mad you are, this is a good thing. I promise. Uh, this is just so frustrating. I just wish I had my old life back. Why does everything have to be complicated now because Dad wanted to get a new job? Gosh darn it. I was really rude to him, and I really shouldn't have been that mean to him. It's just that all of this is such a huge change, and it's really stressful for me. I mean, I got a new house now, I'm in a new town, I'm in a new school, and now I have to make new friends. I don't want to have to do any of this because I just like the way things were. But, I guess I could go out and try to meet some people. Maybe just take mom and dad's advice to try to make the best of things. It's the least I could do for being as rude as I was to dad. I, I really should go downstairs and apologize. Look, dad, I was wrong for being mad at you. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you so sad looking right now? I'm all right, champ. I just hate I made you upset with all this. You see, I got fired from my last job. And that is why we had to move. It was the only way we could keep a roof over our head. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I shouldn't have been so selfish. It's just different, you know, the way life is treating me right now. And I'm sorry for upsetting you. I, I really feel bad about doing that because, well, I love you. And while well, I love mom too. And I know that you both have what's, you know, best for me in store. So... I'm sorry that I was the way I was toward you. I appreciate that, buddy. Now, how about you go outside and try to make friends with the locals? I saw there was a girl about your age next door that you could try to be friends with. Try to make friends. Y yes, sir. I'll go outside and try to talk to that girl and hopefully, if I can, become her friend. I just... I want to make you and Mom proud and... Well, I'm really proud of y'all for being such great parents, so I'll make sure that you're proud of me for being a good son and trying to make as many friends as I possibly can. I love you, and just don't be sad, okay? I'll be okay. Mom's bringing home pizza, so that should put a smile back on my face. Now get out there and have fun. Oh, and I love you too. Yeah, pizza sounds really great. I'll... Be sure to be home when I see Mom's back with it. So, yeah, until then, I'll see you later, Dad. Goodbye. 
All right. Well, I'm finally out of the house, and that's a good first step because if I sat in my room all day, all I was going to do is just end up getting sadder and more lonely feeling. So I'm glad I was able to finally get myself out of there with Dad's help, of course. And now it's time to explore this new place. I need to make the best of things because lying in that room was just going to be the death of me. I can still hang out with my online buddies, but I also need some sunlight so I don't turn into some sort of pale ghost or something. Besides, it's spring break, and the weather's really great today. No reason to waste it inside the house. I mean, everybody's enjoying their spring break, and I should do the same. Now, let's go find this girl that Dad was talking about. I guess she's my neighbor? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see her. All right, well, let's go over there and talk to her and introduce myself. Yeah, this should be simple. Hi there. Um, I am your next door neighbor, and I just wanted to see if uh, you uh, were having a nice day and uh, if you didn't have anything going on, if you would like to perhaps hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Trixie, but get lost, okay? I want to be left alone. Oh, um... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm a little confused. I just wanted to see if, uh, you know, we could be, you know, friendly neighbors toward one another, but why are you being so cold to me? I'm just trying to be friendly. I don't have to tell you why I'm not in the mood for friendship, okay? I just don't feel like making new friends today. Look, I wasn't, you know, in that great of a mood when I first woke up this morning either, but... Then I remembered that today is the first day of spring break. And, well, I really should just try to make the best of it, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. Well, I'm going to spend my spring break sad and alone, so please leave me alone. I'm not in the mood, okay? Well, I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, wish you the best of luck with that, because that's no way to spend what's supposed to be a fun spring break. Spring break is supposed to be a great, wonderful, fun time that you spend with people. But, I mean, if you don't want to have fun, then that's on you, I suppose. I really, really want you to go away. I'm just not in the mood for new friends right now. Maybe next year, okay? Next year? Oh, well, that's just insulting. All right, fine. You know what? Fine. Be rude and be who you want to be. If you want to be a sad, upset person, so be it. I... I'm getting out of here. I hate this stupid new place. Ugh, this is just so stupid. I tried to be friendly and it just didn't go well at all. I, I just want to go back to my old home. I miss my old friends. Making new friends is way, way harder than I ever expected it to be because that lady was just mean. I think I'll just, I think I'll just go inside and maybe play some video games or something. It's not like I can't say I didn't try. Hey, buddy. Why the long face? What happened? Well, I tried to do what you asked me to do, Dad, and that was to befriend the girl next door. But she's just really mean and an angry person. She looked really sad, so I thought maybe I could, you know, cheer her up, but she just doesn't want to make any new friends, I guess. Well, that's just terrible. I'm so sorry to hear she was like that. You know... Come to think about it, that sounds an awful like someone I spoke to earlier today when they woke up. Look, Dad, now's not the time to remind me about how I was rude earlier today, because I already apologized for that, and I promise it won't ever happen again. But, look, I'm just going to go upstairs and play some video games, because I can't try to make friends with her again, because, well, she was just gosh darn mean, and I just... I don't feel like being really friendly right now. No, I think you should go back outside and try to talk to her again. I think you both may have something in common and don't re even realize it yet. Me and her have something in common? Um, I'm not really sure what you're speaking about, but can you kind of explain? Because I'm not following. You really don't see the similarities between you two? She just moved here too, buddy. Except... She's still acting like you from this morning. Wait, she... She just moved in too? Oh my gosh, I, I never explained how I just moved here. Oh my gosh, Dad, thank you. Thank you for the help. Oh, Dad, you're the best. I love you, Dad. I'll, I'll be right back. 
So being new to a city must be really tough. But that doesn't mean you have to be so rude. I'll act however I please, thank you very much. I didn't ask to be here in this dumb new town, and I didn't ask for me and you to be neighbors. Look, I never asked to be moved here either. I miss my old friends too. But I've got to make the best of this new life I have. It's better than just sitting around and being angry all day, don't you think? Wait, so you just moved here too? You're not originally from here? Nope. I just moved here yesterday. My dad just got a new job in town. My family moved here yesterday too because my mom got a new job. Well, it looks like my dad was right. We aren't so different then. Well, except how we handled this situation. Look, I'm just sad, okay? I miss my old friends and now I can only talk to them on the phone or online. Look, I feel the same way. But that doesn't mean we can't make new friends. Those friends are still there. And yes, we can talk to them on phone and online, but we need to make real life friends. I suppose you're right. I hate that I've been so mean to you. Also, I never asked for your name. My name is, uh, well, my name is James. Well, my name is Trixie, if I never told you. I don't really remember during all that meanness I spat at you. You actually told me your name and it's, uh, it's a very pretty one. Um, so would you be interested in Maybe coming over to dinner tonight for some pizza? Yeah, that actually sounds really nice. Thanks, James. I appreciate you being so nice, even though I was so mean. It's okay. I forgive you. I know what you're going through is really tough, and... Well, I'm glad we're going to be able to get through this together. So, it's no problem. I don't mind you being mean. But hey, my mom will be home soon with the pizza. Would you maybe like a house tour? Yeah, that sounds really nice. Well, guys, that about wraps up another Roblox sad story. I hope you were able to enjoy this one. And if you did, please hit the like button. I very much appreciate that. As well as subscriptions and hitting that notification bell. Also, if you want to check out the voice actors, their links will be in the description. I'm so very thankful that I was able to get Megan Plays, one of the old, original, proper dummies members. So yes, if you haven't checked out her channel, she uploads loads of Roblox content. So make sure to go check her out and show her some love. So yes, I guess we'll see you in the next Roblox Says Story. Bye, guys.